Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In this uh, series, we are going to take a look at how we can uh, create a tutor game using Advanced Locomotion System. As you guys know, Advanced Locomotion System is a kind of great system to implement our game because uh, it includes some really cool features uh, like uh, running, jumping or other good stuff but uh, I would like to apologize for having to upload anything uh, because I live in a country called Iran and my country situation is kind of messed up and here I am so without further ado let's get started I'm going to create a project for my uh, advanced locomotion system to, you have to first download it and create a project uh, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to choose my engine version here I would like to use uh, 4.27 it's uh, kind of good but all the things we implement uh, in this series is the same on Unreal Engine 5 so don't worry you can follow along I'm going to use this uh, version name this one <coughs> I'm gonna call it uh, ALS YouTube you can call it whatever you want but uh, I think that's it good uh, this is good for me um, for the folder I'm going to use my all right yeah I'm gonna create this project and just waiting for this one to create it I think it's going to take it some time I'll pause the video and I will back oh nah looks like I won't go I won't go anywhere all right so the project is uh, created let me open this one all right so we created our project first thing I'm going to do is to change this um, character because I don't like it it's kind of ugly and before we change this character I'm going to uh, get rid of some odd elements so if I hit play and as you can see we have some uh, debugging uh, hot here in the right here and also we got this uh, cool uh, switching menu for our game I don't want to just switch between hand tight or injured or anything like that I just want to when I press one just grab the gun from my back and put it in my hand so I don't like this uh, switching menu so first let's get rid of this uh, menus for that I'm going to inside the advanced locomotion folder in the blueprint I guess in the UI I'm going to select all of them and delete them just like that and uh, as you can see uh, this uh, message showing up and telling us some of the assets being deleted are still uh, reference in memory and this is uh, fine we can delete them after we deleting this stuff we are not able to play anymore as you can see uh, we have some errors so let's fix this one uh, just click on the ALS player controller and uh, you have to delete some unnecessary codes yeah so in the ALS player controller as you can see we have some uh, codes that we are actually don't need them in uh, switch overlay state I'm going to delete all of it delete them and here 
actually we don't need this one we need to delete all of it connect this one. now i think we are ready to go let me play and yeah we have our character running around so let's uh okay let's uh, change the character First of all, we have to make sure this character is in the right pose. So, I'm going to uh, find my skeletal match. Mannequin skeleton. In ALS mannequin skeleton. And we have to set it to humanoid. By default, uh, this is uh, set to humanoid rig. But we can do it. And also. We have to do this one for the character that we added to our project earlier. Let me find my project, uh, my character, in the man folder. So let me find my mesh. There is my skeletal. I think in the demo. Yeah. I'm going to just find this skeletal mesh. In here, we have to uh, make sure to find our skeleton. We have to make sure the rig is also set to select humanoid rig and save this one. I'm going to in the man folder just set a filter to only skeletal mesh because I want all of them. I'm gonna select the first one and the last one right click I think, uh, yeah in the skeletal assign a skeleton in the ALS uh, mannequin I'm gonna choose my right skeleton except you have to do it for all the skeletal meshes All right, we're ready to go. Just let me save all of this. Um, let's change our character. Now in the ALS uh, Animan, the viewport, I'm going to click this one. Just search for hidden in game, make it true. And also for the visibility, because I don't want to see this uh, ugly man. In the rendering, I'm going to uncheck this visible. So, and in here, in, on the component section, we have the body mesh. So I can put my mesh here. Let me find my character. Yeah, I think this one will do the job for me. And there we go. Now, we have our character. Our character is running around and everything will work fine. So, <clears throat> how we can add the weapons to our character? Hmm, that's, a, that's a question. So, how we can do it? Uh, I'm just going to create some blueprints, some actors for the weapons. In the content browser, I'm going to right click, create a new folder, call it EPs. EPs, yeah. In here, I'm going to just create a new folder, call it weapons. Here, I'm going to on this one blueprint class i'm going to create a new actor call this one weapon base um, <coughs> and open this one just 
put a skeletal mesh add the skeletal mesh and also we are going to add a variable call it call it bucket name we will do it uh, we'll find we'll need this one later on i'm just gonna choose this one to a name and there we go and also a box collision box collision and that's it we are done here with this uh, weapon base just uh close it now i'm gonna create a oil blueprint class all this one rifle and also create another one pistol there we go and <clears throat> just open the rifle right away in the skeletal mesh we can put our weapon here the m4a1 you can also put your own uh, weapons it is not a big deal i'm just gonna choose this one and later on we will add some weapons to our project just put this one here also for the pistol I'm gonna select the pistol skeletal mesh that, that's it yeah okay now we have our weapon blueprints we have our character we delete all the unnecessary hot elements because we want to we are going to add uh, our own hots in the next videos okay i think that's it for this video i hope you guys find this video helpful and again i'm uh, i'm just uh, like to apologize for haven't upload anything i will do i will upload videos every day from now and yeah i hope you guys find this video helpful if you did don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Unreal engine tutorial and i see you in the next one bye